Ms. Marvel, The New Mutant, number four. This is the final issue of Iman Vellani's uh, book. I guess they called it hers. Uh, she's got a co-writer, so I don't know how much she actually wrote of this. Uh, but I started out skeptical. I didn't like the first issue. I didn't like the uh, the dream sequence issue. Uh, it's been hit and miss so far. But the art's been pretty good all the way around with this. And in this one, um, she's out of the dream sequence finally. Um, and uh, she is getting ready to fight some sentinels that are coming after the mutants at the... Um, at the school she's at here, uh, which has been set up for the last uh, three issues. The Sentinels like are Iron Man Sentinels. That's kind of an interesting twist. Very kind of what ify. Uh, but that, you know, everything in Marvel is at this point. They have to twist everything. They can't just like uh, have straightforward anything anymore. And she has a fight here um, and gets into trouble, almost loses. Now her friends are uh, science wizards uh, and they come up with like some exploding device for her to insert into its chest uh, right there for its, its uh, Sentinel Repulsor Ray. And she eventually um, handles that and takes care of it. I really actually like the art. Who You know, who did the art on this one? Um, it's, uh, is there a credits page? I think there is. I should know this in advance of the reviews, but I don't. Uh, and it is uh, Carlos Gomez and Adam Gorham. I think they did a really good job, to be honest. I think it's, it's pretty. And this is a straightforward superhero battle fight. At the end of it, she's... Uh, meeting up with Emma Frost and uh, and getting herself like acquainted into the X universe, which I guess is going to tie into the Hellfire Gala and things like that, uh, which I'm not interested in reading at all. And it just kind of ends. So um, interesting. I, I, I wish this was a first arc of a ongoing series because I, I honestly, it's been pretty good. Uh, and I actually found myself caring about the character when I really never cared about the character before. Uh, and I thought uh, they did a pretty good job with this uh, this miniseries here. Now, uh, I didn't really much like the first issue all that much because it was too much dream sequence. And I think the third issue had a lot of dream sequence also. So it's like issues two and four really did pretty well. But overall, uh, it worked out. And of course, this issue four was uh, was just a good superhero tale. So I give it an eight out of ten. I know that's surprising, but you know we tell the truth around here for our reviews. Ms. Marvel, The New Mutant, number four. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon. Thank you.